let's look at something that I consider to be one of the most underrated um, PowerShell commands in the entire suite. So it's a simple um, suite of get history, uh, invoke history, and clear history. So let's let's first explore the get history. So get history is exactly what it says. It gets history. And invoke history is something similar where we can say, okay, I want to invoke a previous command from the list. So here we can say that I've invoked get history and because I've now done it twice, I'm getting double results. So I've actually repeated the step. Now that might be useful if you've got a really long um, command and you didn't want to type it out by hand. So let's do something a little bit more complex. So we know we're going to do an invoke web. Now an invoke web here, we're just using with a, a splat. So let's go back and have a look at the history of this. And as you can see, we can see that the command ran and that the parameters were created, but we can't really see the details behind them. So what we can do is the history, we can take the number of the exact request that we're looking for, and we can pass that with um, format list. So we do the FL, so a short version, format list. And we can now see the complete context. So the ID, the parameters that were passed, whether the execution was successful, and the start and end time of that actual command. So this is kind of useful if you want to know also how long it took for something to run and you were not at the screen when it finished. Um, we can also look at the follow-up command. So we can see here, we can kind of piece together what was done as well and how much time was taken on each command, which is particularly useful. Um, you can also then see a complete history of every command that I've entered. So we can do an invoke history and I can pick another one. So let's just do five to make it rerun again. Then we have our output from Google. I have to love Google. Um, so what is this useful for? I went, well, realistically, it's only useful for that session. So if we close the session and reopen it like this and we do a get history, you'll see we're back to square one. We have no history. Now, what powers the history is the buffer. So if you go up and you go check the properties and you go across the tab, you'll see that I've got 50 command buffers. So I've got potentially up to 50 commands can be buffered. Now you can change that, although in this case I can't because I'm not <laughs> opening it as admin. But the reality is that the buffer history is as long as you're recording. So as long as the terminal stays open, you're fine. If you close it, that history will be lost. And that's something to keep in mind when you're using this. Now, no commands list would be complete without the clear history. And that wraps it up. Clear history does exactly what it says.